However, today is a bit of a weird day because even though the daytime was free, the nighttime is a plot day. Because it's time for the journalist to respond. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. So, about that place... Let me see... I guess to put it simply, it's a nightlife district for adults. So, yeah, basically it's a red light district. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Hey everyone, BRB going to red light district, please don't ask questions. Yeah, I have actually heard that um, particularly bars around Shinjuku actually are dangerous at night, especially for tourists. You really have to watch out for spiked drinks. Uh, apparently there are a lot of scams that involved having drinks spiked and then being forcibly led to an ATM and made to withdraw large amounts of money while you're drunk. Also, yes, Yusuke is cannot be part of this, um... <laughs> Operation, because he doesn't have enough money to afford the train fare. I'm so sorry for talking over that. So just me and Ryuji, huh? Yep. Uh, this is totally gonna end well. <laughs> he doesn't have a cat to Wait, spot in the train fare. Are you in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. Yeah, also, if the student council president found out about us going to the red light district in school uniform, um, yeah, she'd probably freak out. Uh, cause, you know, blackmailed by Humpty Dumpty or not, she still probably You're would- in your uniform? Not appreciate- <laughs> And I love this gag, it's like, oh yeah, make sure you don't go in your uniform. Of course, Ryuji is in his uniform. Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. Oh, okay, so that really isn't part of the uniform. I suppose he takes it out during, like, main classes. Also, looking cool, Skull! That's not the issue! Are you both idiots? I'm just saying now, I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cops. Something tells me the cops aren't the ones we have to worry about catching us. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time! Is this really going to be okay? Uh, Ryuji, have you been here before? I get the feeling he's maybe been here before. So yeah, we're actually having to explore around freely. That leads to our former hideout, so we need to take the JL line. Uchiko crossing gate, Ginza line. Seems like people around here are talking about the Mafia scams, though. Okay, yeah, there's JL. Come on, man. Ah, but here's the ticket gate. So, this plot event is actually somewhat important, because from now on, we can actually go to Shinjuku. Alright. And, uh, I am very, very glad that Shinjuku is a place we have access to for one big reason, but I'll get to that later. Uh, for now, I just want to draw attention to this fact. You might be wondering why Morgana is giving you this tutorial about paying a fare. That's because, since Kichi Georgie is new to Royal, in the original game, this was the first time you were forced to pay a train fare to go somewhere. So yeah, they didn't remove this particular tutorial, but um, yeah, it's not actually the first time you have to pay in this version. Horse store. Okay, so there's a host club there. Hey. Feel like we met a host a little bit earlier in Shibuya. Whoa. Yes, we just need to act like we're one of these people who is like, I'm only coming here to get directions on how to get away from here. Oh. There is a movie theater here. The different movie theaters around town actually show different movies. Also, here is a bar where you can um, be served by various creepy people with no eyes and smiles. 
Welcome to our Izakaya. How about some all you can drink booze on the cheap? Wait, you underage? That's even better! Uh, yeah, that's a problem. The hell? Okay, so we have a general huh. store here. Closed at night, though. Uh, this place here, I get the feeling this is going to be important, but um, can't really see why now. Also, a home security shop there. Kind of a, a bar there. Heavenly Club, huh? Adults only store. Hmm, yes, we'll be crossing some roads to get in there, but ones that we probably don't want to cross um, right now, or um, we would get into trouble with our uh, school and probation. Yes, especially this right here. No, yeah, we're not here for that. <sighs> yep, we are all extremely underage hey. and not going to do that right now. Oh yeah? Hmm. oh yeah, by the way, um, we do need stuff from this flower shop. This flower shop is going to be important later. Also, this bookshop. This bookshop is also important. But we can't actually do anything here hey. just yet. It is, again, also, supper. Is this one of those, is that what they're calling it right now, things? You have a moment? Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. Oh, just out of luck, there happened to be a police officer right in front of the bar. Actually, by the dad. Yep. Uh, people mistake us all the time for younger kids, though. You're doing it wrong. You're supposed to say, People mistake us all the time for younger kids, though. Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Oh, wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Yeah, our school's pretty famous, so... Whoops. Is that a school uniform? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run. How much longer until we get there? We were there and we got turned around. Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. Whose fault was it that uh, he was wearing the school pants? What? I excuse me. Yeah. You weren't here before. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Let me guess, unless you pay me 50,000 yen right now. Ugh, more of this shit? Absolutely not a pyramid scheme. Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. That text is highlighted in red for no reason whatsoever. There is no way this person with full voice acting in a portrait is going to be important at all. May your fortunes be well. Yeah. Remember when I said you should remember this place? Well, yeah, this is why. But for now, we're going to have to ignore her, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll be coming back to her later. But yeah, right here, this is the bar crossroads, or in Japanese, newcomer. So yeah, this is a pun on newcomer and okama, which is a word with a lot of um, history in Japan. It basically, depending on the context, can refer to like a gay man, a drag queen, a transgender oh, woman. Basically, depending on the context, like a sure lot of those kind of things. And it's also people debate whether or not it's a, it's a, it should be considered a slur now. Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. We got caught last time too. Well, I mean, technically, only one of us is in our uniform. I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in. Ugh, fine. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. Welcome, welcome. And thus, we meet, in many people's opinion, the best NPC in the entire game. How old are you, boy? 
Sorry, Lala-chan. He's with me. Lala-chan did get number one in the poll of favorite non-confidant characters, for obvious reasons. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Also, this poster here, the end of the last. <laughs> I don't know what that's for, a brand of drink or a movie or something, but either way, it's redundant. Lala-chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. This is why I said earlier that when she was pulling an all-nighter, I'm pretty sure she wasn't working. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are! And I still think it's kind of amazing that uh, Amanda Winley gets to voice Yukiko in Persona 4, who had a very famous scene of pretending to be drunk, or at least thinking she was drunk, and now she gets to voice someone who actually is drunk. I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Who controls Shibuya? Who is Shibuya's puppet master? Oh. Oh, well, you see, the Reapers control Shibuya in Oh Wait, Wrong Universe. Why that? Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. Um, um, we might. We have some tangential connections to them. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these phantom thieves? Here's the thing, though. Thanks to Akechi, the public kind of hates them right now, so I doubt an article like that would do well. <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. Oh yeah, we were outside Matarame's place. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. <laughs> yeah, dramatic irony. She doesn't realize that we are the absolute most insider of insiders on this topic. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? That of Kamoshida, an oddly full way to put it. Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. Oh, okay then. Well, I mean, it'd probably be too traumatic for Arn to talk about that right now, but... I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. We know someone else who suffered from his abuse. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. Even to Morgana, Mishima is that Mishima guy. Yep. It's a deal then. Send me your friend's contact info later. We are throwing Mishima to the journalist wolves. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well, you're unfortunately not the only one who thinks those incidents are connected. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. So either this means that if we look into him, he's gonna have us killed, or this is a complete fake lead and she's just messing with us. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance! It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. Yes! Just realized there was like a sneezing guy in that um, loading screen and that bothers me. Okay, uh, Ryuji's not here. 
Oh, okay, good, he's texting us. Okay, for the movie theater, right. So, we just have to go back the way we came, huh? Alright, let's go. They voiced that line from Morgana, but not like the other thing that he said before Ryuji texted us. But anyway, yep, we've got to regroup with Ryuji. And so there's absolutely no chance that by the time we meet Ryuji, we're going to be ambushed by the most controversial scene in the game. For real? Yes, this guy's name is literally just for real. Uh, don't look him up in public. All right. Yeah, it looks like he has a palace, and kind of fittingly so, because Kaneshiro literally means money castle. So yeah, we've finally got a lead. It's great that we just ran into that journalist by sheer coincidence. It's one of those other things that I like about the Madarame arc. Um, like as far as it being underrated. I love the way that Oya is introduced into the story. I, I honestly really like that and how she becomes important in this arc. And now this. Right. I'm gonna have to talk about this. Oh, I actually forgot this scene wasn't voiced. I thought this was voiced in Royal. So yeah, the Crossroads is pretty heavily implied to be either a gay bar or a drag bar. So yeah, unfortunately you don't really have much of an option to actually bail Ryuji out of this. Which is less of an issue here and more of an issue in the original Persona 5, I feel. So, okay, I'm gonna have to temporarily stop the video right now because I need to explain that scene and more information about it. This scene was different in the original Persona 5, which was faithfully translated from the Japanese version. There, these two older men were pretty explicitly hitting on Ryuji, and Joker just kind of abandoned him to be molested, which in my opinion is very out of character, and the whole thing was played for laughs because it's Ryuji and they're gay. Needless to say, this was not a popular scene when this game first released. As a response, this scene was heavily changed in the English version of Royal to what you just saw. And the very fact it was changed caused even more outrage on the internet. Now, I was all prepared to give my opinion on these changes, but then I researched into things more and I found out something I didn't know before. Royal changed this scene in Japanese too. Admittedly, much more subtly than the English version, but it is changed. You can see a full rundown on a video by the channel Censored Gaming, but my personal summary is the Japanese version made two major changes. The first is these two have names now. In the original, they were just called Beefy Trendsetter and Scruffy Romantic, or Muscle Big Sis and Big Sis with Facial Hair in the Japanese version. But in Royal, they're actually named. Now, in the Japanese version, these names were in feminine forms, Angela and Juliana, I think, which combined with the term Big Sis led some people to believe they identify as female in the Japanese version, and the English version changed this. Personally, I don't think this is the case, because using feminine pronouns and stereotypical feminine speech is roughly the Japanese equivalent of the lisping camp gay stereotype in English. Shadow Kanji talks this way in the Japanese version of Persona 4. 
While Lala Escargo may be transgender, I think given the context of this scene, these two were definitely supposed to be stereotypical camp gay men. Another small but notable change is that in the original, Ryuji called them bakemono, or monsters, while in Royal he calls them koitsura, an informal way of saying these guys. The second change was that a few lines like, I'm a creature of Shinjuku, I'm going to eat you, were changed to sound a lot more tame in Japanese. While I can't speak for the Japanese writer's intentions, here's my personal opinion. I think the intent behind these changes was to downplay the implications that what these two wanted to do to Ryuji was anything sexual. And really, that's exactly the same intent as the localization's changes. The localization was just a lot less subtle about it. Originally, I was going to say that this is a change that I approve of in the same way I do for the Black Knight survival rewrite in Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. It's a minor scene that doesn't affect the overall plot, and almost nobody liked it anyway. But now, the English localization isn't that different from the original Japanese authorial intent, and it's interesting that the writers seem to think they went too far with this scene even in Japan. Wanna head back? We, we, we probably need to like text it. Ryuji, are you still alive? We have a name, but I'm so sorry. We lost Ryuji. Yes, I'm sure he'll be. We don't need to worry at all. We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. Morgana's probably like, score. We got into Kaneshiro's palace, and we lost Ryuji from the Phantom Thieves because he's now going to pursue a career in show business. Hmm, yes, interested. Yes, I wonder if she means it in the way you think she means. I love this option, you'll see. This is one of those moments of like Mishima abuse that I don't really feel all that bad over. <laughs> because I kind of love the fact that he misunderstands this. And it's like, oh wow, a girl contacted me and she says she's interested. Oh, you'll find out. We're about to summon it. Oh yes, don't worry. I'm sure that 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 if somebody's going to be embarrassed in all of this, it's definitely not going to be Ren. Mm. I mean, yeah, it's kind of fascinating. But, I mean, we have kind of abandoned Ryuji there, and nobody really cares because it's Ryuji. Okay, so we can't actually leave LeBlanc at the moment. And if I've been keeping up with the guy, we should be ranking up knowledge by studying tonight. So, I've actually been told in the comments that Joker doing that pen twirl there actually depends on his proficiency stat. I never knew that before. But we are getting a level up in knowledge. We are now encyclopedic, which my... Uh, the powerpoints I use to make the um, uh, confidant profiles uh, tell me that's not a real word, but um, they could be wrong. Now yeah, tomorrow we're going to go straight into plot as well. But we're almost to something really, really big. I can't believe you guys ditched me yesterday. I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. Oh, don't worry, Ryuji. You're probably a natural. What are you talking about? On its best, you don't know. Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay. I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. 
But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. So it's time for more guessing games. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Oh, that's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? <laughs> yes, because, uh, yeah, serious crime bosses definitely do most of their business in gardens. No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. Insert Scrooge McDuck reference here. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? Yeah, money, I mean, hmm, I mean, a lot of mob bosses do tend to envision themselves living it up in big mansions. No, not even close. Nope. How about it? Hmm. I see. Okay, that's a hit. So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Plus, there'd be a pretty major scandal going on if the Mafia controlled an actual bank. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. You know, having someone who thinks like Yusuke on our side is really helpful for these kind of things. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's some good thinking. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. Wait a second. I have a hit. Huh? Oh wait, what? D did I say something right? Yeah, Ryuji's accidentally guessed a keyword two times so far. The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. This is another moment that I don't know how many people feel the same way. I love this moment so much. This just really shows what we're dealing with here. It's not just an individual building this time. Kaneshiro's palace encompasses this entire part of the city. What? Like, the entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh. Nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. Beginning navigation. We finally discovered it. What are those? We got thief outfits already, so, um, I mean, I guess we've been poking around with his goon, so he probably knows somebody's onto him, at least. Walking ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. This is admittedly one of the least subtle things in this game, and that's really saying something, but I think it works, personally. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Yeah, if you look closely, that's uh, like those things in the wind, they're not leaves, they're bills. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. 
even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Okay, let's go. Yeah, here we are in Central Street in our thief outfits. And also, if you use third eye here... I have something. Yeah, we have a bit of an idea what the boss may look like, even though we've never met him before. Oh no, how dare he! The DVD rental place! And also the, you know, collapsed ATM human on the ground. The bookstore, it's all borrowed money. The vending machines! He's gone too far. Well, the diner looks fine. They must scream, though. Come on, man. <sighs> Something people find interesting is there's no possible way to go to untouchable in this reality, which makes me wonder what this guy's cognition of uh, untouchable and EY is. Yeah, even the game stores got all bills. Big Bang Burger, but I mean that's somewhat, you know, uh, obvious. Perhaps. No. Those must be people that he either drained dry of cash, or just had murdered straight up. One day, this place will sell something amazing, but it's not in the metaverse. Also, I wonder what films are shown in here. It's probably all just gangster movies, and movies are uh, involving just money everywhere, probably. A place where he leaves no tracks, huh? What do you mean? I mean, you've at least given us some info. Well, it looks like that person is error. We won't be getting anything more out of them. So, this right here, this is actually a case where I feel like this maybe meant a little, made a little bit more sense in Japanese. So, the term they're probably using to mean tracks here, it can mean trail, as in like the trail that uh, a vehicle leaves with its tires, but it can also mean traces, and by extension, evidence. So this is actually a double meaning. It means um, leaving no tracks, but it also it's a metaphor for the fact that he leaves no evidence of his crimes. Leaves no trail, I feel like might have been a better translation, but I mean, this is uh, kind of fine, I think. Hey. Hmm. They have apparently fallen quite far. Like, this line of line always I thought was just kind of weird. Like, that could mean a lot of things out of context. But, uh, fallen quite far, huh? That would imply that these ATMs were originally higher up. Yeah, as Morgana's saying, were they on top of the buildings or something? Uh... Also, if you look closely, you might notice that all the money seems to be flowing upwards too. Find it. Yeah, the kanji there literally just say Kaneshiro Bank. Kaneshiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? Morgana, attack helicopter mode now! No, just a car. 
You're useless. Come on. Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? I mean, we got the grappling hook, but that doesn't reach anywhere near that high. Shut it. I'm not some robot cat. And this here is probably a reference to Doraemon, although in modern times it might seem like a reference to Yokai Watch. I mean, I'm not a cat at all. This may be the limit of what we can do today. We gotta find a way to get up there. We need to have some kind of, like, phantom paraglider or something. Let's actually get more Sly references. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? I didn't actually intend to make a Sly reference there, but, um, I love the paraglider from the Sly games. Alright, we should get out of here for now. Run for it! In my opinion, though, it's still kind of weird you have to buy the paraglider again in Sly 3 after you had it in 2. Oh, oh yeah. Oh right, your thing with Mishima. Um, <laughs> so um. It's that woman who reeks of alcohol. Also, that line's amazing from Organa. Yeah. Um, apologies if he showed up expecting a date. He kind of does that with every woman who calls him. I guess you'd only heard vague rumors before. Shady connections? Shady connections. Oh, we're gonna sing it too. Um, I'm not sure how much shadier it can get than him being the leader of a mafia organization, just saying. Yeah, we kind of already know that, but I mean, Makoto is a little dumb in that regard. Proving our justice isn't going to be easy. We'd better discuss this with everyone tomorrow. Yeah, we need, uh, to make some kind of, you know, wings, or... What can we do? You sure you can't turn into an attack helicopter? That would be really helpful right about now. Well then. <laughs> I love how quickly Morgana can change subjects. So, we still have access to our LeBlanc activities tonight. We're just gonna study again, but I wanna see what's on the Home Shopping Channel. Supportive gift sets. Oh, blurring alarm clock, hey, uh, that's the only thing that Maraki likes. And the face beautifier, which is liked by Akechi and Arn and no one else. And I personally think it's hilarious that Akechi is one of the people who likes that. But I mean, I guess he's on TV a lot, he's probably used to having makeup applied. I mean, a lot of people on TV generally get that treatment. Busy revival set, okay. Three revivadrin and ten recover R100 milligrams, that's actually not bad. I could really use those, given that we are going to be going to the palace quite soon. Well, I mean, we already went to the palace, but I mean going to the palace and actually doing stuff there. Okay, I'm guessing the revival set's going to be fairly expensive. Oh, actually, not that bad, considering what it is. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy that one. I am going to need to be making a lot of money the next time we're in the palace, though, because very soon is the point where we need 100,000 yen. That 100,000 yen will definitely pay off later, but for the time being, it's gonna be a very steep well, thing to have to sink our cash into. Also, I would absolutely recommend saving tonight. I'll just add this. Oh, they don't even list like all of our investigations for the week. I kind of feel like they, they should, because some other plot events are listed in the calendar. Best study while we can. Tomorrow, we're in for a wild ride, in more ways than one.